well. So we got Cactus here. He just came in from uh, yesterday from Saskatchewan. This guy rides his bikes. He's got a panhead that if you've seen it, you wouldn't forget it because it's fucking <laughs> And then yesterday he showed up on his shovel. Yeah. Came for a ride, just, you know, from Saskatchewan. And uh, it's as unique as he is. And <laughs> Never seen uh, not too many people run a tractor seat. John Deere tractor seat on it, but yeah. he does. Yeah, and this guy puts on miles. His uh, run of this in '82. It's uh, yeah, he's got a fresh top end, runs good. It's been giving me a work <laughs> that workout all summer getting started. I haven't got it figured out yet, but it's kick only. They uh, when I when I bought the bike, the starter was falling out of it, the inner primary was all broke out. And, so that's why that looks like it does under there. There's no starter in it. So, yeah, it's fun. I love it. <laughs> he builds a lot of his own stuff. His sissy bar and all handmade. Yeah, yeah. This is your leather. You do a lot of leather stuff. And Yeah. I'm going to, uh, this one here, I got to, I got to, this is going to turn into a creature of its own too. <laughs> but I don't tell anybody what I'm doing until it's done. This one here, uh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> and you've got a twin cam that you put a how many miles on? Yeah, I got a 2000 fat boy that has been corner to corner in North America. It's got 465,000 on the odometer. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a collection of crankshafts out of that one. And <laughs> plus a couple other projects that nobody knows about. <laughs> They'll just all of a sudden appear someday. Yeah. Yeah. And so. you, you had your pan hit on the road this summer. You went. I left, uh, yeah, I left, I live uh, over west of Saskatoon there, I left there, rode down to Chicago, and then down to, made my way down to Born Free down in uh, California, and uh, on my way home, I stopped to change the oil at a buddy of mine's place down in uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming, and I cut the oil filter apart, and I found a bunch of shiny stuff in there, so put a new filter in, new oil, rode from Cheyenne up the stair, just whatever 400 miles cut the filter apart again and not good pulled the engine all apart all the finish coming off the crank pin and so we're going for a complete rebuild of the new crank new everything be a brand new 1953 fl when we're done here hopefully soon <laughs> and then we'll have her back together so so he's uh he's on tiktok as cactus panhead and uh facebook I uh, know it. Uh, Insta Instagram. Instagram. Same name. Cactus, Cactus Panhead. Panhead. Yeah. Check him out. Follow him. He's uh, <laughs> is awesome. He's does. I love how he rides his old bikes and uh, he goes all over. It's great. No, no hesitation to traveling. I've packed up. I never leave home without my bike looking like this. <laughs> I always got my tent and sleeping bag and well. After coming to see Keith, I even got a set of handlebars that <laughs> you've got to turn into something creative. So, That's awesome. I love it, you guys. I love it. Well, thanks for coming and visiting, and uh, we'll be seeing you shortly oh, again. Awesome to meet you. Awesome to meet you. Save the rust. Follow that guy, not me. <laughs> <laughs> right on. All right, buddy. So follow my friend Cactus Panhead on Instagram and TikTok. This was him last week, last week of October. Coming into Manitoba, we had a snowstorm and he ended up blowing up his motor, but the guy has such a positive attitude. Follow him and you'll see what positive attitude really means. Cactus Panhead, such an unbelievable guy. Take care.